Hi there, my name's David Livingston. I'm the manager here at La Cranza. Sorry you can't be with us this year for our festival, but we're looking forward to seeing you again sometime in the near future. Please enjoy the video that our team here at the distillery have put together. Welcome to the Locranza distillery here on the Isle of Arran. Locranza is a small picturesque village situated in the northwest tip of the island, about a mile from the sea and sitting in the foothills of the hills behind me. The distillery was built in 1995 and the founder member was a gentleman by the name of Hal Curry. The water we use for the distillery comes from the hills behind me. Approximately three miles up there's a small loch called Loch Nadavi and from there the water comes down via a river called the Essenborak over a series of waterfalls where the water is purified by the granite. The distillery itself consists of a range of buildings. First of all we have the distillery itself where our spirit is made. We have a, a fine visitor centre consisting of a cafe, a very beautiful shop and two smashing tasting rooms. Also in the grounds we have Rowan House behind me which is an administrative block for our, our distillery manager and also we have some meetings held in there and also a function room for our very special guests that come from all over the world. We have six warehouses in four different types of warehousing and approximately between 18 and 20,000 casks are in storage here in Locranza. The barley we use for our production process is mostly grown in the east of Scotland and malted in Montrose where it's then from delivered to the distillery on a weekly basis. It comes as whole grains and we mill it on site here in Locranza. The type we are using at the moment is Laureate. We're a small independent company and we try and use the best possible casks that we can for maturing our spirit. Bourbon barrels from America, sherry hogsheads and butts from Spain and European oak for some of our wine casks and our wine finishes. This is the filling station where we fill the barrels with the distilled spirit from the distillery. And if we go up the stairs to the distillery, you'll see the shape of our distillery, the small distillery that it is. So here we are now in the distillery. It's a very small boutique, you might say, distillery. We have a mash tun, six washbacks, Four stills, they're reasonably new, they're only in the last two or three years, there used to only be two stills here, but we doubled their output, being a successful small independent company, we've managed to double our output. In the mash tun here, the grain comes from the grist bin, and here it is at the moment filling, in its first fill, mixed with water, 7,000 litres of water, two and a half tonnes of grist, soaked at different temperatures. First temperature, 64 degrees centigrade. Then the next temperature of water is 78 degrees. And next again, 98 degrees. That's extracting sugars and starches out of the grist. And from there, the first two waters are pumped through under the underback here as they call it and from there into the washbacks which take about 15,000 litres each. The final wash through here is kept and pumped into the brewing tank and in the brewing tank that becomes what you see now, the first wash for the next. So it's all recycled. So here we are at the next stage of our process here and these are our very traditional Oregon pine washbacks here. So we have taken the first two lots um, of our wash coming into our, our washbacks here and we have then added in our two 25 kilo bags of distiller's yeast. At this point you do get that lovely just yeasty smell coming up through here. Um, it's not, not what would you maybe expect. Uh, fruity wise yet but that's going to continue you can see our blade spinning around here and um, that is not to fan it or still it or cool it in any way whatsoever 
That is purely to cut the foam down. The beginning of the week from Monday to Wednesday, we use a really fast acting yeast and it's going to take our fermentation time down to about 48 hours. After that, from Wednesday to Friday, um, it's a slower acting yeast that can take up to 90 hours because that's going to be sitting in there over the weekend to start distillation at the beginning of the week. So the actual spirit distillation here at La Cranza is very slow. It runs through the stills at about 6 to 7 litres per minute. This produces a very nice floral delicate whisky which is kind of the trademark. As you can see here at La Cranza we have very small stills. The small stills produce a nice reflux and this has also helped due to the fact we have a nice narrow arm line. So here at the Spirit Safe we can see we have uh, where our wash stills run into. The wash stills produce our first distillation. Our first distillation is a clear spirit about 20%. This first distillation is then distilled again into a second distillation where is where we get a spirit which produces the heart of the run. We get rid of the heads and the tails of the run and the spirit is then pump, pumped into a cask on a Tuesday which fills about 100 casks. I'm currently in Warehouse 1 which is one of our Dunnage warehouses. In here we mostly store our uh, big wood, so our big casks such as sherry butts, sherry punchings, hogsheads. And we also source some private casts as well, but most of the stuff in here is new make spirit. Uh, a lot of older stuff has gone for bottling already. We're in warehouse three and this is our racked warehouse and this is where we mostly keep our private casks. It's based on a French wine rack system so it makes it easy to get into each individual barrel and collect samples and re-gauges. We source our bourbon cask currently from Jim Beam exclusively at the moment. Um, our sherry hogsheads are sourced from Miguel Martin um, in southern Spain and our uh, small batches and wine finishes we source from artisanal wine producers across Europe. This is warehouse 4, one of our palletised warehouses and this is where we keep all our new stock. We have a very good wood policy at Arran, uh, we'll use the cast twice and, and that's to maximise the flavour and colour from the barrels.